from Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai, we got... A poor village in Mexico is terrorised by a group of bandits led by Calavera. The villagers have had enough and decide to fight back. Three villagers ride to the United States hoping to find weapons. They come across Chris Adams, a veteran gunslinger, and approach him for advice. Chris suggests that they should hire gunfighters as opposed to fighting for themselves. At first, he only agrees to help recruit men, but eventually decides to lead the group. He finds five willing gunmen. They are Gunfighter Vin Tanner, Chris's friend Harry Luck, Irish Mexican Bernardo O'Reilly, knife and gun expert Britt, and haunted gunman on the run Lee. On their way to the village, they are followed by a hot headed aspiring gunfighter Chico, who impresses Chris with his persistence, and he joins the group. Arriving at the village, the Seven work with the villagers to build defences and train them in fighting back. Soon the gunmen bond with the villagers, and they are soon idolised. Calavera and his bandits arrive, only to suffer heavy losses in a shootout with the Seven and the villagers. The villagers celebrate, believing that Calavera will not return. It is revealed though that Calavera and his men must return, as they are desperate for food. Upon learning this, some fearful villagers try to persuade the gunfighters to leave. Even some of the Seven waver, but Chris insists they stay, on pain of death. The Seven ride out to make a surprise raid on Calavera's camp, only to find it abandoned. Returning to the village, they are caught by Calavera and his men, some who colluded with the villagers to sneak in and take control. Calavera spares the Seven's lives, showing them that simple farmers are not worth fighting for. As they prepare to leave, Chris and Vin admit they cannot leave the village to its fate. The Seven gunmen are escorted away from the village. They debate what the next course of action will be, and all but Harry agree to return and fight. The Seven make their way back into the village and a gunfight breaks out. Harry returns just in time to save Chris's life, but is fatally shot. Lee, overcoming his nerves, charges into a house to save several villagers, allowing them to join the fight. Lee is gunned down as he leaves. Bernardo is shot, protecting two boys he befriended, reassuring them to fight as their fathers are, bravely. Brit goes down after shooting a horde of bandits. Chris comes face to face with Calavera, shooting him. The fight is over. The three surviving gunmen help bury the dead, then ride out of town. Chico returns. He wishes to stay behind with Petra, a young woman. Chris and Vin bid farewell to the village elder, whereas they are like the wind, blowing over the land and passing on. As they pass the graves of their fallen comrades, Chris admits, the old man was right, only the farmers won. We lost, we'll always lose. Yul Brynner returns as Chris. Steve McQueen regenerates into Robert Fuller, playing Vin. Fifty gunmen force all of the men in a Mexican village to ride off into the desert. Among them is Chico, one of the original seven, of which his wife Petra seeks out in order to save her husband. Chris and Vin agree to save their former comrade and recruit five more willing members. Frank, a gunman. Lewis, a famous bandit. Colby, a ladies man. And Manuel, a young cockfighter. The new posse discover the missing villagers being used as slave labour to rebuild a desert village and church as a memorial to the dead sons of Lorca, a wealthy rancher. The six gunmen fight off the bad guys. The bad guys run away. Chico joins with his former friends. Lorca returns with more bad guys. A shootout ensues along with some dynamite. Chris emerges victorious in a duel with Lorca. The bad guys flee. Frank, Lewis and Manuel end up in the ex-magnificent pile. Chico returns to his village, Colby stays with him, Chris and Vin ride off again. Yul Brynner regenerates into George Kennedy now portraying Chris Adams. Vin has disappeared off the face of the earth. In Mexico, Quintero, a revolutionary, attempts to rally those opposing the dictatorship of President Diaz. He sends his lieutenant north to find Chris, still fighting the good fight. For some reason, Chris agrees to rescue Quintero and, you guessed it, recruits five skill sets. Kino, a hand-to-hand -hand combat expert. Cassie, an explosive man. Slater, a sharpshootist. PJ, a tuberculosis suffering wrangler. And Levi, an aging knife man. What follows is more or less the first film. 
One of the seven forced for a girl, they train those less able in self-defense. A climactic battle against a large enemy force with a last minute turn of the tide happens. Chris Levi and Quintero's lieutenants Max survive, leaving the peasants $600. Chris and Levi ride away into another sequel. Lee Van Cleef now takes on the role of Chris Adams in the third and final sequel of the original film. What do you want to know? Chris has retired, but a small Mexican town has come under attack by De Toro and his men. Chris's old friend Jim persuades him to ride out and defend them. Chris reluctantly agrees and is joined by journalist Noah Forbes, who wants the story of Chris's eventful career. Jim is found dead. Chris requests five prisoners are released to help him. Pepe Carroll, Walt Drummond, Scott Elliott, Mark Skinner, and former Confederate Captain Andy Hayes. Initially hostile, the men soon work together to save the town. Another long battle ensues, some of the seven die, some don't. Chris once more kills the bandit leader, and D. Toro's men flee. Chris, Noah, and Skinner survive, and decide to stay in the small town. Not riding off as is traditional. Seemingly, the Magnificent Seven would ride no more. The next sequel follows Cornelius, Zira, and Dr. Milo, having escaped Earth's destruction by repairing Taylor's ship. Uh, wait a minute, this is the wrong bloody film! Lasting two seasons, Michael Bian, Ron Perlman, and Dale Midkiff would don the mantle of the Magnificent Seven, with original member Robert Vaughan as Oren Travis, a local judge. Bian plays Chris Larrabee and is out for revenge since his wife and son were murdered before the start of the series. Who does that remind you of? The 21st Century Remake stars Denzel Washington, Chris Pratt, and Ethan Hawke, and updates the original, setting it in the United States and killing off different characters from the original. It is more diverse and multicultural, but nonetheless looks good, and the main character's motivations are moved around a bit. I've been the fan, the fan with no name. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you could leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think, I'd be much obliged. Don't forget that if you hit the subscribe button, you can catch a new Wild West video here on this channel every day at 6 o'clock. So man. then, dear viewer, dear buckaroo, the I will leave it, but I always do. Until next time, happy trails. Sword and pistol by my side Many a young maid lost her baubles to my trade any soldier shed his lifeblood on my blade.